Ooh, if you're watching this channel right now, you already know you're spending some downtime with Demille. I hope you guys are having a great day today whenever you're watching this video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of a third party product for the Oculus Quest. And first, I want to just give a huge shout out to a company that reached out to me on Instagram called Bro VR. They uh, make all kinds of accessories for the Oculus Quest. And I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing one of those today, which is the Bro VR One battery pack. This is basically a battery pack that you can connect to your Oculus Quest so that when you're playing extended hours, if you want to keep playing, you don't have to, you know, recharge. You basically have another battery. You probably can't see it real good here, but you'll see it in the B-roll footage that's playing. So I'm going to be doing a review and just an unboxing of that, give you my thoughts at the end, let you know what I think about it. But before I get into that, if this is your first time visiting the channel and if you like the content that I produce, consider hitting that like and subscribe. Likes really help the channel out in a big way. It also helps me to stay alive on YouTube. Also, if you really like the content that I produce, consider hitting that notification bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes live on this channel. Also, by the way, I will be doing an unboxing and review of another Bro VR product that they sent me that they wanted me to review, which is a micro fan. That'll be in a separate video probably posting on Sunday most likely. So stay on the lookout for that. So before I get into the unboxing and review of the Bro VR One battery pack, I gotta let you guys know also about the good people over at VR Cover. If you need anything that needs to protect your Oculus Quest from sunlight damage with the lenses or your Halo covers from getting scratches while you're playing Cybrix or any other game like Beat Saber, you really want to check them out and uh, just give them a look. I'll also post a link down at the bottom of the video and also in the description where you can go on their website and click my link and you'll be able to just check out what they have. They got all kinds of stuff that really is just good to protect your Oculus Quest from any kind of damage or just different things, things to customize your Quest and you'll really, really appreciate what they have there. So check them out. All right. So we're going to go right into the Bro VR, excuse me, the Bro VR BR1 battery pack. And so um, basically, you know, if you if you've had an Oculus Quest, then you know that when you're using it, it goes through battery power very quickly. And so a lot of times, you know, if you're using that and it goes through and or if you don't even check to see how much juice you have, you could be in the middle of a gaming session and all of a sudden it's gone. You don't want that to happen. So you always want to have some kind of battery backup while you're playing because it saved me a lot of times, you know, so I would number one off the top, highly recommend having something like a battery pack extender for your Oculus Quest. So one of the many companies that do this and uh, I think what I've seen so far, this is really good. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and stop this part of the video and I'm going to go right into the unboxing. After the unboxing, I'm going to come back with some final thoughts and let you know what I think about it. So right into the unboxing, here we go. All right, so I'm about to do the unboxing of the Bro VR battery pack for the Oculus Quest 2. So first, I'm just going to give you a real good look at the box that this comes in pretty straightforward, you know, there's the back, yeah, pretty straightforward, and it looks like this just connects right to the side of the Quest right here, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, taking the sleeve off, I'm just going to sit that right there, okay. it looks like I do not need a knife for this, which is good, because right now, I don't have one in my current possession. This should be fairly straightforward. All right, so let's see what all it comes with. Look like you have some basic instructions here. 
has a battery indicator, an input port, and an output port. Right? Yeah, basic instru in, uh, instructions for the battery. How to charge. It says you can charge with the data cable, which I believe it comes with. So, instructions. I'll set that off to the side. All right, looks like here is the data. Okay, so it comes with a Velcro strap. So that will be used for something pretty important, I'm sure. So I will set that off to the side right there. You have your data cable, which I'm pretty sure that's what you charge it up with. All right, so there's your data cable. And this is the main ingredient, which is, well, wait a minute, actually, Looks like you've got two Velcro straps. Interesting, I thought it was just one. All right, so there's our Velcro, Velcro straps. I can get it out. <laughs> and dun, 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 Bro VR, the battery. So yeah, this is pretty much it. You can see the, um, you can see the indicators right there. It looks like that's the port that the, uh, that the data cable plugs into. Well, let me move it up so you can see it. That's the port that the data cable plugs into. Those are your LED indicators. And it looks like you have an indicator right here as well, right where my thumb is. So I'm going to connect this to my Quest just to see how it looks. So stand by. All right, so if memory serves me correct, this should go right here, just like that. And that's basically how it's going to look on the side right there. Now, and you can see that it's already charging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook this. I'm gonna disconnect. All right, and then what I wanna do is just take a quick look at the box because I thought that there was something here that showed how it looked with the Velcro on. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back with this attached to the Quest showing how it looks with the uh, Velcro straps as well as the data cable, so stand by. All right, so I'm back now and I got everything figured out with the Bro VR battery pack for the Oculus Quest 2. So here's basically how this is going. So you're provided two Velcro straps and I'm assuming one is just in case, the other one is just in case you lose the uh, first one because you really don't really need to put two on here. So I just put it on the back end of the battery as a way to secure it because you could probably play with it without it, but it might put pressure, it might on the port if there's nothing on the back end of the battery to support it. So I think that's why they give you that Velcro strap. Okay, also with the cable. So as you can see on the back side or the underneath side of the uh, Quest where it's plugged in. So your data cable just plugs right there. Just like that, right? Okay, now here's the only thing. Um, what I got did not come with a plug, like an adapter that you could just plug into the wall. So you have to have your own adapter or you can just plug this in into any USB port on your computer or any other device that has USB. But other than that, that's about it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test this out and just see how it, how it, how the how long the battery runs uh, just on regular play and regular VR use. And I'll be coming back with some final thoughts on what I think about this device, this addition or this add-on for the Oculus Quest. So. Let's go back to the studio for some final thoughts. Here we go. All right, we are back from the unboxing video and I'm gonna give you some final thoughts on what I think about the Bro VR VR1 battery pack accessory for the Oculus Quest. Now, like I said before, this is an accessory that if you are a heavy Quest user, you really want to have. It is just no other way around it. 
Um, it's great to have the built-in battery for the Quest, but you also want to have a battery pack extender. Now, a few things that I noticed while I was using this device was that um, I was playing one of the games that I use a lot, which is premium bowling. And one of the things that I noticed is I was moving my head from left to right. I did notice just a little bit of extra weight on the left side of the uh, quest when I was moving my head. And so it's not so bad where it's just like uncomfortable, but it's just a slight, you know, slight notice. And you may not even notice it, but I noticed it just a little bit. So there is that, beware of that. One thing that I will say is like any other battery pack charger, while you're playing, you're not going to see your Quest charge up really quickly because it's running you know, off of the battery and it's charging at the same time. So it will charge, but just note that you won't see it really charge really quickly until you have the Quest turned off and then you have the battery pack plugged in and charging. So I would say that in terms of doing what it does, it does it very well. It charges the battery pack. Um, I would also add that I did not notice, I noticed in the instructions that it said that it would get really warm while you're uh, playing it. I did not notice that. I noticed just maybe a tad bit amount of warm, but nothing like major. So um, even as I'm sitting here now, I'm charging it as you can see by the orange light if that shows up in the video um, I'm touching it now and it's just a little bit of warmth but it's nothing like it's really really warm it's nothing that you know makes you feel like your quest is gonna you know catch on fire or anything like that so no worries there and this seems like a really good product that does what it's supposed to do so you really want to have it um, you know and one thing that I would do too is probably when you're not using it is just to go ahead and just take it out. Um, it's very easy to install. I would highly recommend using the Velcro strap that's included that I showed in the unboxing video. And the reason I say that is because you don't want to put any extra pressure on the side of that port. So that battery um, that velcro strap does a really good job of keeping it keeping it pretty much level so it's not leaning and that could cause you know damage to the port so if you're going to use this even though you probably could just stick it in there and not have that velcro i would highly recommend putting that velcro right around there um, just to protect the integrity of the port that the battery pack plugs into so I would highly recommend that other than that I think that it is a uh, really awesome device to have I think that like I said before if you're a heavy quest gamer you want to have some kind of backup you do not want to be playing a game and then you know you're getting ready to hit a high score and then all of a sudden it goes out or you're in an alt space VR meeting and you're having a great meeting someone's about to say something really profound and all of a sudden it goes out and you have to go and find your charger and charge it back up you know so having these kinds of battery backups are very good um, I would say and another thing too this particular uh, battery pack takes about two to three hours to fully charge and then after that um, you're good to go now I have used this for roughly about two hours and it seems like I get pretty much like a full charge to the oculus quest off of maybe about and uh, maybe about almost um, I would say probably about an hour to an hour and a half maybe two hours of use on a full charge so if your quest is all the way ran down and you plug it in and it's on a full charge then you should get at least minimum um, hour and a half, two hours. So it may be more than that. That's just what I got, but I would definitely recommend it. I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase this in the description of this video. And that's about it. So that was my review of the Bro VR BR1 battery pack accessory for the Oculus Quest. What did you guys think about it? Post your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know 
what you think about it. Question, if any of you are Oculus Quest owners and you're watching this video, what is your favorite VR accessory for the Quest 2? And which one have you had the most you know, experience with? Leave that down in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. On the way out, hit that like if you like this video, share this video. And as I always say, if you can see this video, you are truly blessed. And also, what are you gonna do in your downtime? Peace!